So we all know by now that Devontae Adams has been traded to the New York Jets for a third round pick, which is conditional if he is named first or second team all pro, or if the Jets can somehow manage to make the AFC championship, the Raiders will acquire a second round draft pick. Now let's assume that that's going to happen. I think it's more likely that he will be named first or second team all pro than the Jets making it to an AFC championship, seeing how they have the same record as the Las Vegas Raiders, and they have some serious issues, including firing their head coach and losing games. That being said, remember that right here on the Raider D podcast, we were the first to announce that the deal was done between the Jets and the Raiders for Devontae Adams and this trade an hour before even Adam Schefter or Ian Rappaport reported it out there on their Instagram and X profiles. How did we do that? Well, because we have some insider information in the front office of the Las Vegas Raiders, which is able to get us this intel even before the big dogs like Ian and Adam. That being said, we also were the first to announce to you, the Raider Nation, that Malcolm Koontz, unfortunately, would be out for the entire season. It was only a day later that Adam Schefter put it out on his X count, and then all of the talking heads began to speak about it. If you like insider information when it comes to the Las Vegas Raiders, and we definitely don't claim to be the biggest insider podcast out there, but we do have some intel from the Raiders, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you are the first to know. Now let's move on with the fact that the Raiders have this deal done and we could end up with a second round draft pick. Remember yesterday, I was also the first to tell you guys before the deal was done with Tom Brady to become a part owner of the Raiders and Mark Davis made a statement in regards to quarterbacks that the scouting department of the Las Vegas Raiders were instructed from the top, i.e. meaning Mark Davis, to scout heavily Shador Sanders. He is enamored with Shador and he has a plan to bring Shador to the Raiders in 2025. But the plot thickens because he also is enamored with Deion Sanders. And there has been some rumors within the Raiders organization, which has been brought to our attention, that if Antonio Pierce cannot win at least eight games this season, he will be out the door and the Raiders will be bringing in Deion Sanders as head coach. And the Raiders will do everything they can to draft his son. I personally don't like this plan. Anytime you put a head coach and a starting quarterback in the same team in the NFL where it is very business oriented, that could lead to disaster or it could lead to Super Bowls. We'll see how it all pans out. But right after I had posted that a couple hours later, the information came out about Tom Brady becoming part owner and Mark Davis made this statement right here. What role do you expect Tom Brady to play in your organization? Well, but it's just exciting. Um, what I was going to say is uh, we uh, traded Devontae Adams for uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> and third round pick today. <laughs> and although Tom can't play, I think he can help us select a quarterback in the future and potentially train him as well. So as you can see, it appears as though our intel was correct and the Raiders are absolutely looking to replace our quarterback situation, both Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew in the draft in 2025. Now, that being said, let's take a quick look at Shador Sanders and another guy that I believe that the Raider Nation should actually draft rather than Shador. But let's start out with Shador Sanders. Who is he? Well, we know that he's the son of Deion Sanders, who was a legendary cornerback for both the San Francisco 49ers as well as the Dallas Cowboys. Deion Sanders is, he's showtime, he's big time, big personality, all that in in package, but he backed it up with his words. And his son has been doing the same thing as a quarterback, completely different situation. You would have thought that he would have been a safety or a corner, but actually he has excelled at the quarterback situation. He started out his career at Jackson State, where he played and uh, racked up 3,732 yards, 40 touchdowns, and six interceptions. In 2023, he transferred over to Colorado. His first game, he recorded a record of 510 yards, four touchdowns against poor TCU, who just got battered. In 2024, he is really becoming the front runner in order to win the Heisman, as well as be the number one overall draft pick 
in 2025. And he's done that with 2,018 yards so far, 17 touchdowns to only four interceptions with an amazing 72.6% completion rating, which is really, really good. What Shador is known for is being super accurate with his passes. He can throw every pass out there on the field. He has a strong arm, great pocket awareness, as well as escapability, but he's not really a running quarterback. He is more of a traditional pocket passer who can get out and scramble whenever it is necessary. And yes, he is definitely faster than Aiden O'Connell. But here's the thing. He lost a game last week, which really hurt his stock. However, you have to take a look at why Colorado lost to K-State just, just past Saturday when, in a devastating loss of 31-28. to 28. Was it on Shador Sanders? Well, partly, but mostly not. And I say partly because he did throw an interception. However, he did throw for 388 yards and three touchdowns. He had them in contention to win this game. Unfortunately, Colorado has no semblance of a defense or even an offensive line for that matter. And so they were not able to stop K-State from going down and winning the game and in the fourth quarter. So Shador Sanders is definitely a top prospect and apparently is top prospect for Mark Davis and the Las Vegas Raiders. And there's a very high likelihood that the Raiders will combine two second round draft picks as well as their first draft pick if, ne if necessary to go and get their guy, Shador Sanders. But let's take a look at somebody that I believe that the Raiders should actually draft instead of Shador. While Shador is a premier quarterback in college right now, and by no means bringing him to the Raiders would be a massive upgrade to over Aiden O'Connell, who I still believe in could be a good quarterback in the NFL. But if I have to choose between Shador Sanders and Aiden O'Connell's upside, it's definitely going to be Shador. But let's take a look at another young kid who has a little bit more experience in college football and is an absolute playmaker. And yes, I am talking about Cam Ward over in Miami, but he didn't start out in Miami. Cam Ward actually started out at a very small little college called uh, the University of the Incarnate Word. Uh, never heard of this university before I started researching Cam Ward, but apparently he was pretty darn good over there, racking up 4,648 yards, 47 touchdowns, 10 interceptions with a 65% completion rating. And that was between 20, uh, 2020 and 2021. But in 2022, he transferred over to Washington State and played there for two years where he racked up 6,963 yards, 48 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions with another 65% completion rating over those two years. Amazing stats for this young man. In 2024 in Miami, they are undefeated. He is the front runner right now for the Heisman Trophy Award. He's racked up 2,219 yards, 20 touchdowns, five interceptions with a 69.2% completion rating. He has been in college for five years, so he has a lot of experience. And a lot of people get a knock on Cam Ward that he is a, another running quarterback. He's another Justin Fields. Absolutely could not be further from the truth. In five years of college football, he's only ran for 426 yards. That's less than 100 yards per year. And he's racked up 19 touchdowns on the ground. That being said, who is Cam Ward and why should the Raiders take a look at him? Yes, stats are great. But this is why I think he has an edge over Shador and why the Raiders should get him is because he is an absolute playmaker. The dude has like a sixth sense, like a spidey sense, like Spider-Man of the pocket and pocket awareness. And he is able to escape at will. Remind us of anybody wears a jersey in red in a team that we all hate? Yeah, he's able to do that. And while he is supremely athletic, much, much faster than Aiden O'Connell or even Gardner Minshew and can break off 40-yard touchdown runs, that's not his preferred method to score. He is a pass-first quarterback, and much like the guy in red that we all hate, he only uses his legs and escapability not to go pick up first downs with his feet, but with his hands, with his arm. 
to get the ball downfield. His eyes are always downfield. He's never looking back at the rushers. He's never looking at his offensive linemen. And he's definitely never turning backwards like Gardner Minshew did a couple of weeks ago and getting sacked. Instead, he escapes out of the pocket and he is able to throw the ball from any angle his body can be contorted in. It does not matter. This dude has a rocket for an arm. In fact, he has a crazy stat. He has zero short throws on this season. Not one has he shown has he thrown short of his receiver. Now he has a few overthrows because he does have an absolute rocket of an arm, but we're not going to have to worry about him escaping the pocket and throwing the ball 5 yards short of Trey Tucker like Aiden O'Connell has been prone to do. And because all the emphasis is going to be on Shador Sanders, he's the big name. He's the one that everybody wants. That's going to mean that Cam Ward will probably be the second overall quarterback drafted, which means the Raiders may not even have to trade up to get him if we have a high enough draft pick. And if we do have to trade up to get him, we may not have to give up both of our second round draft picks. The dude's an absolute playmaker. I think long term, he's kind of like uh, Cam Newton uh, with a better arm talent, right? He can do everything you need. He has an amazing sidearm pass. I think Cam Ward should be the guy that the Raiders go out and get. If you like Cam Ward, if you like Shador Sanders or any other quarterback out there, drop a comment down below and let us know who your favorite college quarterback is and who the Raiders should be targeting in 2025.